Hey guys, so this is more or less going to be like a sort of end of spring collection update. Um, I tried to keep up with the monthly updates again and I just, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. So, whatever I end up having time for, I'm just going to kind of wing it. So, I'm going to call this one end of spring collection update. Uh, I've got a decent amount of stuff to show, spanning all three formats. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get started. This first one, we'll start with the tapes. I've only got a few tapes. Um, as I've said multiple times, I am hardly, I'm hardly buying tapes at all anymore. I've been selling so many tapes lately, I just... I don't know, it's just, it's, it's one of those things where... I would rather pull out a record or a CD, um, but I do make a few exceptions here and there, obviously. Um, and this is one of them. Uh, this is Beckera with Demo 96. So I talked about Beckera in the last update. Um, talked about their debut album, their full length. And definitely one of the best French black metal bands. And that first album is just incredible. This demo is pretty damn good as well. Not as good as that album, but this was definitely like a sign of good things to come. So released back in the day on AMSG. And then it took them, what, almost 10 years to put out a full length? Because I think that that first album came out in 2005, and then uh, this came out in 96, obviously. So, yeah, if you haven't checked out Becker yet, definitely do so. I quickly becoming, if not, they already are probably my favorite French black metal band right now. So, I'll have a link for that in the description. And then uh, we're going to... We'll talk about Beckara a couple more times in this video as well. All right. <clears throat> Next up, we have the Celestial Sword and Mortem Split. So Adam was uh, kind enough to throw this in with a bunch of CDs that I bought from him. Adam from Mortem. I'm not too crazy about Celestial Sword, it's just another one of those raw black metal dungeon synth kind of projects, but I do really enjoy Mortem. And I'm not just saying that, I do really enjoy Mortem. So, go check out that split. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of you watching that will probably dig Celestial Sword if you haven't heard them, but um, yeah, good split. That's Celestial Sword and Mortem. And next up we have some more French black metal. This is Council Daemonion. I think that's how you pronounce it. Rise into the Dark. So this EP came out, I think, in 2021. Um, and the tape either came out the same year or the year after. I think the original release was through a 7-inch, which I... I remember seeing it when it came out, but at the time, I was starting to no longer buy 7 inches. Except if it's like a, if it's like a collector thing, because I just don't listen to 7 inches. So yeah, this is put out uh, through New Era and Tour de Garde. I wish this band would do more, because this, this project is really fucking good. It's great French black metal. And it sucks because it's it's only two songs, so it's like it's like not even ten minutes long. Um, it's one of those things where you finish listening to it and it just it leaves you wanting more. But you know, maybe we'll get some more material at some point. I wish they would do like some CD releases because um, you can't. Last time I checked Metal Tracker, there was no downloads. 
So that means nobody's ripped it from anywhere yet. But I've got this now, and then I've got that 10 inch EP or demo, whatever it was that came out a few years back. But whatever. Anyways, I'll throw a link for this one as well. This is really good shit. That's Council Daemonion with Rise into the Dark. Alright. So I got a fat stack of CDs. And a lot of these CDs I got from uh I got from Adam from Mortem. He was uh <clears throat> kind enough to sell me a bunch of CDs that he was trying to get rid of. So I think what I'm going to do is just separate the ones that he sold me. So this is the first one. This is Aryan Art with their first full length. Uh, this is the one I really jumped on because I still needed it on CD. And just as a lot of you know, Aryan Art stuff is just impossible to find, which I love how now all of a sudden, like, all of these people are popping up on the Black Vault with, like, copies of uh, Harmony Eternity Universe for trade or for sale. I swear to God, every other day I'm seeing a new post. Oh, Aryan Art, Harmony Eternity Universe for sale, for trade. It's just like, I don't, I don't know where the fuck this is popping up from. There's been several recent sales on eBay of it, so I wonder if it's just people, like, buying it and then they're trying to like resell it or trade it for something they else they want i really don't know but it's it's retarded but whatever so anyways just a single page booklet yeah very happy to add this to the collection so thank you again adam you're the best like seriously and then you gave me a sweet price as well so thanks for not charging out the ass for it all right, next up, we have uh, Enthroned Towards the Skull Throne of Satan. Enthroned's second album. So, uh, Enthroned did their, uh, well, I guess it technically wasn't Enthroned, but okay. The enthroned, the enthroned lineup, quote unquote, that played at Metal Threat was more enthroned than what enthroned is right now. And that set was fucking awesome. That was probably the best set of that entire day. Anyways, you just, you cannot go wrong with early Enthroned, especially the first two albums. They're just 10 out of 10 albums. Perfect. So that's Towards the Skull Throne of Satan. Next up we have Evil Feast with Invoking the Ancient. This release, surprisingly, is not very easy to find. single page booklet good stuff we got a there's a osculum in fame cover on here which is very good yeah i'm still after a vinyl copy of this but the cd will have to do for now so evil feast invoking the ancient Next up, we have Flamen with Supremo, D Supremo Die. And this is their, I believe this is a demo. This band only has like two releases. Yeah, excellent stuff. This is probably, I wish this band would do more because this, this band is just fucking awesome. It's got, uh, I'm sure one of the things that made it so special was Alexander from Aryan Art being involved, but just great songwriting, lots of memorable leads and stuff. Um, just excellent band all around. 
So go check out Flamin if you haven't. And then I also grabbed the full length, which is Fuhrer Lune. I think that's how you pronounce it. One of the few exceptions where it's okay to buy a digipack. And this, this is probably one of my all-time favorite black metal albums. Just hands down, just such a fantastic album. Right. Next we have Nordgrid with Legion Nordgrid. Second full length. Sorry if the birds are being obnoxious. One of them just, he, I swear to God, he's autistic because he just does not shut the fuck up. He'll just sit there and do that all fucking day. Like, dwee, 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 dwee. And it's just like, dude, are you like, are you okay? Or, but like I said, I swear he's, he's the most autistic bird I've ever seen. If that was even possible. Yeah, so on the subject of Nordgrid, I'm still waiting for my Nordgrid records from Darker Than Black. I ordered those fuckers back in, like, April. Is it April or March? And I still have not gotten them. Alright, so anyways, that was the last CD. Thanks again, Adam, for selling me all that shit. I really appreciate it. And for giving me such a good deal. All right, and let's finish off the CDs here. Bekura again with the 96 demo. This is the CD release through Elegy Records. Just a single page booklet there. And then, of course, I also picked up the first full length. First Becker of full length on CD. And this is a uh, first press on Aura Mystique. And it's got a bunch of pictures and shit in here. I'm not going to show every page. I got to replace this case. It's all fucked up. I don't know what the hell happened. There's that. All right, next up we're going to talk about a Finnish band. This is actually a band that I have not talked about on this channel before. I've known them for quite a while now. It's just one of those things where I haven't picked up anything by them. This is Norhem with uh, their first full length. I think this is the first album. That. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to pull that booklet out because it's it's a super jewel case, so that shit is just, yeah, I'm not going to waste video time pulling that out. So yeah, as everybody knows, Finland is just, especially these days, is just a never-ending sea of black metal, and it's, sometimes it's very hard to weed through the um, subpar stuff to find the good ones. This band is 100% worth checking out if you haven't. Um, they're one of the good ones. The good Finnish bands you should definitely make yourself aware of if you have not. So, check out Norhem if you haven't. 
And then I picked up this Norham release as well. I believe this is a, this is a demo, I think. That that booklet was really eager to come out. Just a single page booklet with lyrics, which aren't finished. Check out Norham if you haven't. I will definitely have a link for that shit in the description. All right, last CD. We have Wolfknot with Hydentum, and this is a first press. Which the first press was limited to 818 copies, and this is number 580. Which is funny because the reissue is only a 500 copy limitation, but I do, I like the layout of the first press much better than the reissue. And then the booklet is like nice and glossy. It just looks good. Oh, 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 I can't, can't show that. Can't show that. <laughs> Got Athelwolf there and all his glory. Yeah, this copy was just sitting up online for such a great price, and I was just like, man, I, I can't pass that up. Especially since I'm a, a first press CD whore. So I just went ahead and grabbed it. So fuck it. Because it was one of those things where it's like, I'll probably never see it for that cheap again. So, so yep, that's Wolf Knot with Hydentum. And if anybody's wondering, you can still get the re the CD reissue on Dunko Bunker. It is still available because I just checked the other day. <clears throat> All right, let's go to the records. Alright, this is Azure with Moonlight Legend. So this is basically one of your, um, this was definitely, I don't, basically was not the word I wanted to use. This is one of those kind of hidden, um, I'm pretty sure this is a Swedish band, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm like 100%, I'm like 99% sure this band is Swedish. They're one of those, another one of those hidden gems in like the, you know, melodic black, death metal scene and this this album is fantastic got lyrics on that side that's and this is put out on figure deconstruct which is a fucking weird ass name for a label but whatever and then there was a couple of different variants mine is like the blue marbly which you can really only see it in the light right there. If I'm just looking at it like this, it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, definitely recommended for fans of Dissection, Sacramentum, Vinterland, all that kind of stuff. Just if you like your, your Swedish melodic black death metal, definitely go give this a listen. And there's still copies available on the uh, on the uh, Vigor Deconstruct Bandcamp. So, yeah, great stuff. Azure Moonlight Legend. I'll have a link for that in the description. Next up, we have a French classic, which I won't really. I'm pretty much just going to show this and then move on because you all know this. Crystal Knock, War Spirit, recent uh, reissue through Out of the Dungeon. Just black vinyl, labels, no point in pulling the record out. Doesn't come with an insert or anything. 
So I think the band said that this is the, or not the band, but I think the label said that this is the last time that they were going to reissue this. Um, so I don't know if it's the last time um, the band is going to have it reissued or uh, if it's just from out of the dungeon. So if you want this, I definitely would recommend grabbing it before it's gone. You can get this from other distros. I got this from uh, Hasweg. Um, so if you don't want to pay the retarded shipping prices from Finland, you can get it from other European distros at cheaper shipping costs. Um, so yeah, get it while it's available. I've already got too many copies of this EP, but I don't care. I mean... But this is... The other... The other, okay, so the other vinyl release I have of this is the one that Asrar did, and it's got the bonus tracks, so it's kind of just nice to have it on just a standalone, like, oh, record. Um, so Out of the Dungeon is going to be doing another, I think they've already, they might have already released the CD uh, version, actually. They're doing a, another Crystal Knock release, too, with other material on it. I think they already released the CD, but the vinyl is going to be coming later on, so I'm, I'm waiting for that. All right. So next up, we're going to talk about Norhem again. And I, I believe this is the second full length. It's either the second or third, I can't remember. Came out in 2020, I want to say. And this was actually the first uh, Norhem album that I... This is what got me into the band. Um, so I listened to this when it first came out, and then I just kind of like... I didn't really forget about this band. I just... As I explained earlier, it just like took me forever just to pick up anything by them. So I one day it just kind of like sparked. I was like, man, I need to like buy some shit from this band. Because the fact that I didn't have anything by them was just killing me. Double-sided insert with lyrics. And then it's just black vinyl, so nothing special there. But yes, excellent album, probably my second favorite behind the first one that I showed earlier. All right, and then we're gonna talk about uh, about furry real quick. Got so much shit to pull out here. Satanic War Master, latest full length. Of course, everybody knows this. Insert with lyrics. And then comes with poster of the album art. And then, so there was several different variants. I, I don't even remember what mine's called. I think mine's like a cloudy orange or some shit like that. I don't know. It's getting kind of ridiculous now. I remember when the uh, Vitron Werewolf album came out and there was like fucking 20 different vinyl colors. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, it's just stupid. Like, like, the, the way Iron Bonehead does it, like, only a certain amount of the copies pressed are going to be a colored, one color variant. That's fine. But when you get to the thing where it's just, I think two should be the max. Any, any more than that is just, no, you're doing too much. 
Because for me, I feel like at that point, it's no longer about the music. It's just trying to get the record to fucking sell, you know, by thinking, by tricking people into thinking they're going to have more value because they have a color variant. I don't know. It's stupid. But anyways, all that bullshit aside, solid album. Um, honestly, I think I said this when I showed the CD. I, I think this is still, like, my least favorite Satanic War Master. Like, the first half of the album is great, and then it just starts to gradually deteriorate from there. Just not as good songs. Duke's Ride is probably one of the best Satanic War Master songs, though. Well, I guess, but it's in that first half of the album, so. All right. So next up, so just like the Crystal Knot release, I also picked up the Signer Volan reissue. And like I said, the nice thing about both of these reissues is that it is just the, it's just the EP. It's just the EPs by themselves. There's no extra bonus tracks or anything. So, it's if you just want to listen to that, these are great reissues to have. Even if you have the like, that compilation or whatever, this is still definitely worth picking up. And then it's just black vinyl. Labels are nothing special. Like I said, I got these from Hosweg, which Hosweg, I've said it once, and I'll, or I've said it many times, and I will say it till the day I die, best underground black metal distro. You, there's, in at least in Europe, you will not find a better underground black metal distro in, in Europe other than Hosweg. Super fast shipping, great customer service. They know how to run a fucking distro, unlike some other ones I can definitely name drop that are pieces of shit and they actually know how to pack records there's so many of these like especially these newer labels that just kind of popped up around the COVID era and they're still kind of you know limping around putting out you know subpar black metal releases and they just kind of throw the record in the fucking their flimsy little shitty European mailers and just send it out and then it shows up with corner gangs and it's all fucked up. Yeah, those kind of people just, they have no fucking business running a distro. Pisses me off. Anyways. Moving on to some Polish black metal. This is Thunderbolt with Beyond Christianity and Black Clouds Over Dark Majesty. So this is actually an unofficial release. Uh, I forgot. Okay, here it is. Burz, Burznag Product, Burznaz Productions put it out. I don't know. But anyways, it's a very basic release. It's got um, the Beyond Christi Christianity demo on here, and then the Black Clouds Over Dark Majesty EP as well. No insert or anything, and then it's just black vinyl with both sides labeled this is still again i think i where did i grab this from i think i grabbed this from dark hidden but this i've seen this in a few different european distros so if for some reason uh if you missed the uh reissues that uh ancient dead did a couple years back of uh, black clouds over dark majesty um, this is definitely a good substitute to have that on. Plus, you get the Beyond Christianity uh, demo as well, which is great. I know some people are faggots about buying unofficial releases. Like, I'm all for buying unofficial releases, especially if the band... Like, that there's no other way to fucking get a copy of a certain release. But you got some people that are just such crybabies about unofficial releases. So, you know, if you're okay with that, this is definitely a good, definitely worth picking up if you want that material. 
So that is Beyond Christianity, Black Clouds Over Dark Majesty, Thunderbolt. All right, moving on. And if I offended you by saying the word faggot, I do not know why you're watching me. <clears throat> okay. I lost my train of thought for a second, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so next up, uh, these last two 12 inches I have, because um, then after this we're going to get into a couple of 10 inches. Um, finished band, uh, and these two releases just got vinyl releases. And this is Vampiric Blood with Watching the Night's Rot and Eternal Melancholy. This EP came out a few years ago on CD. Took them a little bit to put it out on vinyl, but it finally happened. Got a nice double-sided insert, and then I just have the black vinyl. Overall, I would say this is probably my least favorite Vampire Blood release. Oh, wait. There was one thing I did want to show with this. I totally forgot. So this one, um, so the entire EP is on one side. Um, so they put an etching of the band logo on the back, which is nice. So I mean, yeah, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do a single sided 12 inch do something on the B-side to give it a little bit more character. So there's that one. And then they also put out the latest full length on vinyl as well which is Nosferatu Darkness The Loveless Nights in Tavastia excellent album I really I really really enjoyed this album it was, it was probably one of my favorites from uh, last year double sided insert and then I, mine's just black vinyl. I'm not one of those people that uh, spams the fucking Iron Bonehead website trying to get that color variant before it sells out. It's like, nope, I am perfectly happy with saving money and waiting until Arcane Altar or Nuclear Na Nuclear War Now gets copies. So yeah, that's Vampiric Blood. Both of those two are still widely available. Alright, got two more records to show. Definitely a couple of gems, too. This first one, we have Athana with Waltz of the Wolves. EP that came out, I think, in uh, either 2018 or 2019, but it was like a private kind of release. Front and back side. And then also came with an insert. show the inside or not but there's that so yeah I was approached and had an opportunity to grab this at a good price so I took it because I I knew I was not going to be able to get a better price for it so 
from. According to Discogs, it says that this was like a, uh, it says that it was a, like a, a private, not like a private release, but it was like, it was like a solo release kind of thing. But if you look in the, uh, in the matrix on the record, it says Final Agony. So, pretty, you know, sure, Final Agony pressed this. Which makes sense. So yeah, there's that, Bathana, Waltz of the Wolves, and then picked up the 2020 EP from Out of the Dungeon, well I didn't buy it from Out of the Dungeon, obviously I bought it from somebody else. Because this fucker's been sold out ever since it came out. And then this guy comes with like a little... I don't even know what you would call that. And you can't even read it anyway, so, I mean... His fucking handwriting is nuts. <laughs> and then... Vinyl, it's just black. I've heard a lot of people say that they think this is Vathana's best release. I, it's very good, but I think all of his best material is in the demos. Which I know a lot of those are hard to hear, because not a lot are available, but... You know, maybe one day. I don't. I don't think that these EPs will ever get reissued, but maybe there will still be a chance a chance for those demos to get reissued. We'll see, because I would love to see that. Alrighty, and there's that. And I'm probably gonna get at least a couple people that'll ask me, "Where'd you get the Madonna records?" And it's like, well, they were. They were private sales. I can't really say where I got them. All right. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, don't know when the next video will be. Um, but, uh, yeah. This is awkward now, so I'm going to shut off the video. See you in the next video. Bye.